What up, y'all? Welcome to this episode of Beyond the Comments or Behind the Comments podcast here on YouTube. And we got a lot to talk about. Today's episode is going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but like I always say, I don't care. No fucks given here. If your feelings get hurt, I'm not sorry. I say how I feel. And if you don't like that, then, well, don't know what to tell you. Maybe grow thicker skin. That's all I gotta say. But, uh, for all y'all that are in the military, man, all my old school military cats, I know y'all will agree with this. The military is getting soft as fuck. And I mean, hella soft as fuck. We're talking Charmin Ultra Soft, man. All y'all little woke ass little bitches need to cut the fucking bullshit. And stop saying like, oh, this isn't right. No, this isn't right. Man, fuck you, dude. Just just shut the fuck up. Okay? Just shut the fuck up. All y'all sitting there saying that hazing is like a bad thing, man, just sit down and shut the fuck up. The military ain't supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be hard. Hazing is a part of the goddamn process, you dumb little woke bitches. When you're getting hazed, that's to build character. That's to prepare you for combat mentally and physically. When your recruiter's getting in your face and making you do this and making you do that, like, like let's say you do something out of pocket. Let's say that your recruiter tells you to do something the first time. You don't do it right. You're supposed to. There's consequences for your actions. Like, if your recruiter or your or your commander tells you, hey, you didn't do this right, get down on the ground and give me 20. Just do it and shut the fuck up. I mean, if you think that's bad, what do you think it's going to be like when you actually go out on a fucking field mission? On an actual mission in the middle of combat. You think the enemy is going to give a fuck about what you want? No. They are there to kill you. They are there to murder you. So, when y'all motherfuckers die? Because you didn't want to listen to the guy next to you saying, Hey, get me this or get me that. Or hey, get the commander on the line. Let's get a fire team going. Or, hey, hand me a thing of ammo. I need a fuck ton of ammo. Like, I need ammo now. Or I need this now, 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 now. They're not doing that to be dickheads, man. They're doing that to ingrain in you the mentality that it's going to be like on the field of battle, man. Y'all woke-ass little bitches don't have any business being in the fucking military If you're going to sit there and whine and cry and bitch and complain. Now don't get me wrong. The military ain't for everyone. But when you go there to join, you should know what you automatically signed up for. You knew what you signed up for. Like I said, the military ain't supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be hell. It's supposed to be hell on earth. Because if y'all don't know, I'm an army brat. I've been an army brat my entire fucking life. Up until my dad retired. But I am still considered an army brat. And let me tell you. If I did even one thing wrong that was out of pocket... Not only did that reflect bad on me and my moms, that reflected badly on my dad. So not only did I get chewed out 
for doing something I did wrong by my dad, his commander would chew him out if I did anything wrong. So what I did as a kid doesn't just reflect on me, it reflected on him as well. Like I said, man, all y'all weak ass little bitches thinking that you can join the military, thinking that it's going to be all sunshines and rainbows. No, Cupcake, it's not going to be all sunshines and rainbows. It's going to be hell on fucking earth. Because, like I said, basic training is not supposed to be easy. The military is not supposed to be easy. When you're told to do something, don't fucking ask questions. Just fucking do it. Like I said, when you're out there on the field of battle, you think the enemy is going to give a fuck about your feelings? No, they're there to kill your ass. So when you're sitting there whining and crying and they're shooting at you, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop whining like a little fucking bitch? Or are you going to pick up a goddamn rifle and take that motherfucker out before he takes you out? Because let me tell you right now, if they had a draft, I would gladly sign up. I know what y'all are thinking. Well, why didn't you join the military if you like it so much? Because I have medical conditions to where I was not able to. They would not accept me due to my medical history. That is literally the only reason why I couldn't join the military. Even though I wanted to. I wanted to join the military but couldn't because of my medical history. Because I've always wanted to follow in my dad's footsteps. I've always wanted to join my friends that have joined the military. I knew, I trust what I say. I know it ain't easy. I know what I would be in for. Why? Because I enjoy a good challenge. I enjoy being pushed to my limits. I enjoy being pushed to the edge to better myself. Why do you think I run such a tight ass ship when it comes to my mods? I have nothing but the best mods in the fucking world. I mean, granted, yeah. Every once in a while I may have to say something, but a majority of the time, I ain't even got to say shit. They're on their shit. They know what time it is. I know what to expect of my mods, and my mods know what to expect of me. Just like they got my back, I got theirs. We're all on the same page. I help moderate my channel just like they moderate my channel. Because my mods are my equals. They know what time it is. And I know what time it is. I respect them just like they respect me. Why do you think I still say, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir? Why? Because that was ingrained in me as a kid. All y'all little whiny bitches, all y'all woke little faggots sitting there saying, oh, it's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a girl. No, dude, you're a fucking guy dressing as a girl. Not that I have anything wrong with that. Okay, I don't have anything wrong with the LGBTQ plus community. Because my older brother was gay. Some of my best friends in the world are part of the LGBTQ plus community. So I do support it. But when you're joining the military, all that shit goes out the fucking window, bro. If you're a guy, you're supposed to be placed with the guys, not the girls. Genetically, you're a dude, so you run with the dudes. You run with the guys, not the females.
Y'all are getting weak as fuck. Matter of fact, it's y'all motherfuckers that are coming in doing that shit that are making our military weak as fuck. Because y'all want to talk about like, oh, and this is too hard. Then shut the fuck up. You think it's hard now and basic? And fucking basic? Wait till it comes time for fucking deployment. Wait till deployment happens. Let's see what you think then, motherfuckers. Let's see what y'all think then. Y'all think it's hard now? That's nothing. That's nothing. Wait till y'all motherfuckers are out there on the field of battle. It's going to be ten times worse. I'll tell y'all right now, for all y'all that are woke as fuck, saying this, saying that, every single one of you needs to shut the fuck up. Because y'all motherfuckers that are woke and doing all this shit, (laughs) y'all are making the military, and guys that served in the military, and women that served in the military, you're making all of them that have served before you look like shit. When you whine and you bitch and you complain. They are there to train you. They are not there to give a fuck about your feelings. They are there to do their fucking job and to train you and get you ready for the military. They are not there to care about your feelings and oh, this this is too hard, Commander. Can I do something else? Man, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I may not be in the military, but I still hold that military mentality. Always have ever since I was a kid. Every veteran I see, I shake their hand and I say thank you for your service. Or if I see a friend online and they're telling me that they're coming back from the military and they're They're coming home from deployment. You know what my ass is doing? My ass is out that door. And my ass is down there at the fucking base as fast as possible. With their family and everybody else. Why? Because I actually give a fuck about my military. I give a fuck about my brothers and sisters that have served. I actually give a fuck about our men and women in uniform. So like I said, if y'all little pansy little bitches think that it's easy now, or if you think that it's hard, now, (laughs) you're in for a rude awakening. For all y'all little pansies that think that it's going to be easy and smooth and this and that, You're in for a rude awakening. You really are. You are in for the rudest awakening of your life. I can promise you this. I promise you on God you're in for a rude awakening. You really are. You're in for such a rude awakening. The military ain't supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be sunshine and rainbows. It is supposed to be there to prepare you mentally and physically to be a soldier. To be a sailor. To be a marine. To be an army ranger. To be an army soldier. Whether you're doing infantry, whether you're doing tanker, sniper, whatever you're going to be doing. Whether that's medic. Whatever. Those people are there to train you. They are not there to give a fuck about your feelings. I'm sorry, but if you're if you're wanting and bitching about hazing, the military ain't for you. I say bring hazing back. Bring that shit back. Why? Because that shit builds character. That shit 
makes you a man and builds you into a better person. It builds character. But yet, y'all don't care about that, do you? Y'all don't care about building character or being badass. No, you just want a smooth, easy ride, get through college, and maybe fuck a few chicks or fuck a few dudes if you run that way. Or if you're a chick. You know, if you're a chick, you're obviously going to, yeah. But y'all, y'all get what I'm saying with that. But that's all y'all ever, that's what a lot of y'all fucking woke-ass bitches want. You want everything to be fucking easy. Well, sorry, the military ain't easy. And let me tell you, Cupcake, life ain't easy. Life is undefeated. There's nobody in the world that can beat life. No one. Not me, not y'all, no one. If you ask me, I say they need to bring hazing back. Because if you do something wrong, if you do something wrong, you need to pay the consequences. There are consequences for your motherfucking actions. If your commander tells you to do something and you don't do it right, you deserve to be punished. You deserve to have consequences. Why? Because that's when you fucking learn to do it right the first fucking time. Like I said, y'all woke little bitches out here bitching and complaining about hazing? Fuck every one of you, man. You guys are weak as fuck, and you have no place being in the military. If you're gonna whine and cry and bitching and play, be like, Oh, mommy, daddy, they they be a mean man. Shut the fuck up. The recruits aren't there to give a fuck about your feelings. They are there to do their job and train you. And get you ready for the military. They're not there to be your friend or hold your hand. No. They are there to fucking train your ass. And I'm sorry, but if you can't handle a little bit of fucking hazing, then you got no place in the military. You got no fucking place in the military. I'm sorry. If you can't handle a little bit of hazing, then get the fuck out. What do you think I went through in high school? What do you think I went through doing PE? Even in PE, we got hazed. But you know what? I fucking learned real quick to do it right the first fucking time. Or whenever I did ROTC with my buddies. If, if I did something wrong, my commander bitched at me, and rightfully so. But you know what? Those learning experiences built fucking character. They built me up. Why? Or like, how did it build me up? It made me a fucking man. Shut the fuck up. It made me fucking realize that, oh, next time my commander tells me to do something, or next time somebody does tells me to do something, I'm going to do it right the first time. Because if you fuck up, that could literally be the the line between life and death. If you fuck up, your whole team could get killed. Your whole platoon, your whole squad could get wiped out. Because you fucked up. You fucking up could get someone killed. Or worse, could get your ass killed. Or something could go wrong. And then guess what? It's your ass. That's fucked.
I mean, what, what are you going to do if your commander gives you an order on the field of battle and you don't do it right the first time and you do something wrong and your whole squad gets killed or your whole platoon gets nuked? Then what are you going to do? Where are you going to be then? Huh? What are you going to do if you don't listen correctly and your whole team gets killed because you fucked up? Because you didn't follow orders. You didn't do it right the first time. What are you going to do then? Your team's dead. Your squad, your commander, everyone dead. And you're the only one left. What are you going to do? How are you going to explain to all their families that you fucked up? And you're the reason that they got killed. Y'all are weak as fuck. And if you ask me, y'all woke motherfuckers need to get the fuck out. And as for the military, all y'all that are in PT, man, and all y'all that are in basic, or even y'all, even you guys that are just now coming into reception, all I got to say is good luck, man. Y'all got one hell of a road ahead of you. And I hope, I wish y'all the best, man. I do. I hope that y'all pass. And I hope y'all fucking make it through. But for all y'all weaklings, y'all need to get the fuck out. Go get a day job at Starbucks or something, man. Go work at the Circle K or 7-Eleven for God knows how much an hour. Do something. Because if you can't handle a little bit of hazing, then you ain't made for the military. I'm just saying. You ain't built for that life. And I'm not saying it's your fault, because not all of us are built for the military lifestyle. Not all of us are built for that lifestyle. Not everyone is. But for all y'all that ain't built for that shit, you got no fucking place telling our people within the military what the fuck to do and how to do shit. Y'all don't have that motherfucking right. Because you ain't fucking doing nothing. All you're doing is whining and bitching and complaining about how bad it is and how this and that is so wrong. How about you shut the fuck up, you, you pack your shit up, and you shove off, and you get the fuck out of the military and go do something else. Because like I said in the beginning... The military guys there that are training you, they're not there to care about your fucking feelings. They are there to fucking train you. They are there to be up your ass to get you ready for the military. They are not there to be nice. If you want nice training, like I said... Go to Starbucks. Work at Starbucks. Work at a theater. Do waitressing work. Do something. Because the military ain't for y'all, man. And like I said, if y'all want my opinion, I say this. Stop listening to these weak little bitches and bring hazing back. Bring that shit back, man. Because that shit builds character. I'm just saying, man. And as for all y'all weaklings, all y'all woke little bitches that are sitting there doing this shit, just shut the fuck up. You ain't built for this shit. And you never will be. But as for my men and women out there that are serving currently... Or are just now coming home. Or are on reserves. 
man, I want to say thank you for your service. Big salute to y'all, man. From a military brat to y'all, man. Massive salute to you guys, man. Much love and respect to you guys. And I hope you guys come home safe. Or if you guys are just now home, like I said, man, glad you guys are back. Glad you guys are doing good. And hopefully, you know, your reintegration into life, into regular life, is a good one. And I hope that it gets easier for you. But nonetheless, man, thank y'all for y'all's service, man. I appreciate it. My family appreciates it. My friends, my family, my fans, we all appreciate it, man. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to say this. Bring hazing back. Bring that shit back. And fuck you woke little bitches.